Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today I'm going to share with you. Develop a queue management app with AppSheet. After this video, I believe you will found that. How easy to develop a queue management app with AppSheet. In daily life, we may see this system everywhere, like bank or hospital or bill payment counter and etc. But this video, we will implement the queue management apps for restaurants. Basically, this app consists of three major functions. The first one, queue management function, which include guest queue registration, SMS notification for queue number update, queue registration cancellation, table seating arrangement. The second is restaurant sitting management, which integrates with a restaurant floor plan and coordinating each empty table seat or occupied seat. The last, reporting. With all the recorded data, we may optimize the information from it. Such as on which day, the restaurant is more crowded. How long for the guest queuing duration and serving duration. Or how long the guest queuing duration before cancellation and etc. As usual, the first video we will share what we can build with AppSheet. And the step-by-step -step workshop will be shared in the next videos. Alright, let's start the video today. This is the dashboard, our main view. At the left panel, we have the restaurant seating map. The pointer on the map is our table seat. Green pointer indicates that it is an empty seat. While the red pointer is an occupied seat. In the right panel, it is our queue list. All the record with queuing or in status is listed here. And we also have some action here, such as cancel, check in, check out and notification. And we may register a new queue number here. Enter the name, contact number and no. Of packs. After save, a SMS will send to the registered contact number. The newly registered Kenny is listed at the bottom of the list. We do have several different SMS message. Each message is sent according to a certain conditions. Such as like reaching the front of the line, or updating number in the line, or fail to reach the guest with several notifications sent. If the quest didn't show up, we can cancel its registration here. Or the registration will auto cancel the no. One guest after several notifications. The cancelled guest will be removed from the list. Let's get Rosie a seat by check-in. Select the table seat for the guest. Table listed here is only those with empty status. Let's check. Example, table C1 is occupied. The occupied table won't list it in the check-in table list. Let's select our one. Then save it. Automatically, Rosie is moved to the in list with table R1. And at the same time, the one South African Rand is changed to red pointer. Assume Rosie has finished her meal and checking out. Once Rosie is check out, the pointer is changed to green and the record is removed from the list. Queue history in the menu, listed all record regardless any status. The record is grouped by queue date, and the group by status. Next, let's check the seating map. To insert a new map, we may just click the add button. Then enter the map name, and upload the floor plan map. Once the new map is added, click on the record and add the table seat here. Enter the table name. 
and then select the coordination of the newly added table seat. Then save it. Let's check the new added table seat in the dashboard. Here is it, this is the BR1 table that we created a second ago. Lastly, with all the data, we can further create an informative on-screen report. Such as a pie chart showing which day of the week is most crowded. Or a list that lists the queuing duration and serving duration. or a list of cancelled guests, how long they queue before they cancel. Alright, that's all for the function that we build for this queuing management app. We will share the step-by-step -step workshop in the next videos. You may download the Google Sheet template first. We will share the Google Sheet template in the comment session. We end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.